Hey guys, it is Owen and Dyer back in Disney Free Free Point now for another discussion on The Mandalorian Season 2. This time we're doing Episode 2 and 3. That's right, we're back talking about the new season of The Mandalorian on Disney+. Plus. We're so excited. The new season's back. And we just, we, we're doing, in this review show, we're doing episodes, like Owen said, 2 and 3. Because they're kind of together, which is really cool. And the first episode was epic, so then these two put them together are really cool. Mm -hmm, so, that was cool. Okay, so Owen's battling in the Disney Infinity our Star Wars toy box with Boba Fett, with the, with what's his name from the, from up again? Carl Fredrickson. Carl Fredrickson's cane, which is hilarious. I know. Against General Grievous. It's funny. It's a good power disc. It is a good power disc. It's funny. Okay, so the first episode we won't talk about that again because that was at the very end we saw well we we're almost 100 percent sure we saw Boba Fett right at the end yep. of the first episode. So, okay, another spoiler warning here. I'm sure you've all seen the episodes by now, but if you haven't, just a warning. We are going to be talking about plot points and what happened in the second and third episodes of season two of The Mandalorian. So if you haven't seen it, go watch it first and then come back and check out our review. So you've been warned. Let's go ahead. Yep. Okay, so in episode two and three, we saw... <laughs> the frog lady. The frog lady. We have to, I wish she had a name. It'd be cool if everyone has to just call her the frog lady. But yeah. Yeah. So we see the Mandalorian go back to Tatooine, and well, he's still on Tatooine, and he goes back to oh, what's her name? Oh, Pelly. Pelly. Yeah, Amy back Sedaris. To, yeah, Amy Sedaris is Pelly. I'm pretty sure it's Pelly. And he's looking to find more Mandalorians. So she has a lead. She knows somebody that thinks they know where some Mandalorians are. Mm -hmm. So she says, well, if you can give transport to this person, they'll, they'll show you where they, they know where some Mandalorians are on this planet. So the frog lady comes in and she's taking her eggs uh. back to her <laughs> husband for fertilization yep. to protect her, her, her family. So <laughs> only one problem, though. <laughs> yeah, only one the problem. The child loves to eat them. That's right. His favorite snack. Baby Yoda is obsessed with the eggs, the child, yeah. I think he, I, I think I've counted them as he's, as he's, I think he's eaten like six now. I think he did eat like five or six, which is hilarious. So the frog lady is not impressed with that. I don't, do you think she knew that he was eating them? I don't think she knew at all. I think she knew at one point, but then other than that, she, she had no idea at all. Because Man, Mando, Mandalorian was hiding it from her. Sorry, didn't, I, don't, I don't know if I should call him Din Jarrett or the Mandalorian. I always like, I haven't decided yet. Because now we know his name. It's kind of weird just to call him the Mandalorian, but. Yeah, it is weird. You know, I think she's still called him Din Jared, I think, so. Okay, so Din Jared, I think he's, he's like, trying to stop Baby Yoda from eating them. Mm -hmm. And I don't think she, I think he's hiding it from her. He doesn't want her to find out that <laughs> the child, Baby Yoda, has been eating her eggs, which is hilarious. And he's obsessed with them. Like, that one shot when he's, like, staring into the big um, container of them, and you see, like, the close-up. You know. It's so Whoa. funny. Yeah. There's a whole funk about mo mo moment of him actually looking at the eggs, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I gotta eat. And it's funny, and I hadn't seen it, but Owen showed me the the Baby Yoda Funko Pop right before we watched the episode um, with him, the one with the eggs, and I had, had not seen that. So I was like, oh, that's a big spoiler then. It's going to be something with these eggs. Uh, I should have told you, but whatever. It's, it's still fun to see, right? Oh, it's cool. I, just, I didn't know what, the, what was going to happen, but it was just like, oh, these eggs. It's weird. I didn't know what it was. <laughs> me neither. So, but we found out pretty quick what it was. So. And then, oh, can I go ahead? Yeah, go ahead. And then they land on a planet that's kind of like Hoth, but it's not Hoth, though. It's not Hoth. Yeah, I can't remember what the planet name was. It wasn't Hoth. It wasn't Ilum, which is the oh. planet that the um, Starkiller base was on, I think. Oh, yeah, Starkiller base, sure. right. I get, I get all the names mixed up. I think, I don't, I don't, I think that, I'm pretty sure that was Ilum. So it's a so, new planet. Yeah, and then a bunch of TIE Fighters. TIE, TIE Fighters? fighters. What are you talking X-Wings. Yeah. I've seen pilots chase him, and it's cool that one of them is Dave Filoni. Yep. Which is crazy, honestly. And the other one, because everyone was freaking out about Dave Filoni, but in Canada here, and maybe a few people in the States know this show, the other X-Wing pilot was a Canadian actor who is a star on a show here in Canada called Kim's Convenience, which is a hilarious show I watch all the time. Yeah, <laughs> we did. Um, Owen hasn't seen it, but yeah, he's the star of the show Kim's Convenience, a show based out of Toronto. Um okay. And yes, everyone in Canada. It was so funny that night after the episode aired. When we were watching it, I was like, what? That looks like the guy from Kim's Convenience. And then all of a sudden I saw it again. I'm like, that is him. And it was so funny how like no one was, no one on Twitter, no one was talking about it except for all the Canadians were like, 
oh, they were all freaking out <laughs> with that. So it was cool. And he's, he's a huge Star Wars fan, lifelong Star Wars fan and cosplayer. So it was really cool to see him get a chance to be in an actual Star Wars game. Yeah. So, yeah. so I think that's okay with Wobby. for the game, but I think her lightsaber would, would, would be better for the yeah. Star so yeah. Okay, now so we, the spiders take? came. There was a big battle with the spiders. That was crazy. The, yeah. They crash on the planet. The Huawei finds a translator for him to understand, so that's easy. Yeah. And then they and then Baby Yoda walks into a truck. The child! Oh my goodness! Uh, you can say either one. It's fine. Oh my geez! But I, I hate saying that because I because I, Liam knows I hate saying that. So I'm like, nah, oh, I said matter. it. In my opinion, you, you can say either one. So. Right. Okay, so. Ends up with them going back and like, like basically like the the razor crest is all destroyed and everything from the spiders and the crash, and they limp their way to that planet and barely get there, and the frog lady is reunited with her husband. Yeah. Yeah. And now the cool thing is, so then Jared is now looking for the Mandalorians that her husband says he's seen people with with Mandalorian armor on that planet they're on. So. And then we see somebody watching the, the, them on the, on the docks, right? I know. And then they find... Uh, who, who did they find again? Okay, so then, yeah. So we won't tell the whole story. But basically, um, didn't Jarrett and Baby Yoda get into a situation where they're in trouble? And they've been tricked. Who, who, who's Din Jarrett? The Mandalorian. Oh, yeah, I forgot. That's, that's his name, yeah. Um, and who comes to the rescue to save the child and... I think I think Din Jarrett could have got out of it, but he was in trouble because he was he he wasn't able to to save Baby Yoda, right? Mm -hmm. So who was it? Mandalorians. And not just any Mandalorians. It was Bo Katan from the Clone Wars. So yep. cool to see Katie Sackhoff back reprising her role this time in live action as Bo Katan. It was so cool to see that. I I I, I freaked out when I saw her. That was so awesome. I, I, I love her from uh, Battlestar Galactica, so I was really excited to see okay. her part of the Star Wars uh, universe again. What? See, this is the thing. When you play stuff or um, oh, try and yeah. get a weapon, you land all the way up for some reason. Liam's soon to be destroyed Death Star. Yeah. So, we're going to get to the reason why Owen's playing with Ahsoka here. Oh, he was. Oh. got to keep Ahsoka on. We're, we're, we're getting to the... Right. What, what, okay, so... At the whole end bunch of the cool episode, action happens. Bo, Bo, Bo Katan and two other Mandalorians from X Death Watch team up with Din Jarrett. Mm -hmm. They they say if they, if he helps them, bat, you know, go up and get, get steal these weapons from the X Empire uh, troops, that she knows where Jedi is because mm -hmm. that's what, what that's what the Mandalorian's trying to do now. He's trying to get the child back to the Jedi, right? Uh -huh. that, that's his mission now. So yeah, so um. I forget her name. Bo-Katan? Bo- No, 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 it's her name, the- Who? Oh, is it Bo- is it Bo-Katan? I don't get these names mixed up. Yeah, the, the Mandalorian who's in the show? Yeah! Yeah, Bo-Katan, yeah. Yeah, so she tells Bo-Katan and the child. Bo-Katan tells Din Djarin, who's the Mandalorian, Okay. that if he's looking for a Jedi, I can't what planet she told him to go to, but she says... Go to this planet and you'll find Ahsoka Tano there. That's right. So cool. We were, Everyone kind of... It's been like the the worst kept secret. Everyone's known that Ahsoka's going to be in this season. Some of the, Even though Star Wars and Lucasfilm have never announced it. It just, it's a rumor that came out and just wouldn't go away. And so it's pretty much for sure. We're going to see Rosario Dawson next episode for sure. I hope so. Yeah, so it's, yeah, it's so cool to, to hear Bo-Katan say... Go find Ahsoka Tano. Tano. So cool. I, I remember flipping when she, when she said, I'm like, what? Yep. And the other cool thing is, what's, what's Bo-Katan looking for? What's her mission? What's she trying to get back? I'm trying to remember. Oh, come on. What? What does Moff Gideon, Moff Gideon have? The Darksaber. That's right. She's like, where is the Darksaber? You've already lost. Yeah, so she's hunting down. She's... She said that she's going after these Empire, ex Empire um, troopers and like, you know, squadrons as like to get the weapons to help uh, restore Mandalore back to um, its rightful place and like, you know, give them enough weapons to battle against the ex Empire. But her real mission is she wants the Darksaber back. I know. So she can truly restore her place at the top of the throne of Mandalore to help restore the planet. So. But I want to find out 
about Moth getting Goth the Darksaber in the first place? Exactly. I'm dying to know how he got it. Because she had it. Because Sabine Wren gave it to Bo-Katan in the Rebels. Mm-hmm. Which did she said no, you, you you know you deserve this. You're the rightful heir or heiress to, to the throne of Mandalore because her sister, um, Obi Wan's ex, we'll, call, we'll say girlfriend but friend, um, died, and then Bo Katan became the next heir, the heiress to, to the to the crown. So, but yeah, I'm dying to know how Moff Gideon got the dark saber. I'm guessing that when the Empire was the purge that happened, where the Empire was like basically trying to wipe out the Mandalorians. And stealing all their best car and everything. I'm guessing that he got it somehow there. So. Ha ha ha! He's choking me. He's choking me. <laughs> anyway, guys. So yeah, that we won't go over everything else, but it was so cool. The the, the second episode was like, it was really good. The spiders were cool and everything, but you could just, but. yeah, you could just tell they were setting up for another. You could tell this was like part one of like at least a two episode, little you know, story thing. So it was so cool to see. It really jump up and ramp up with episode three, uh, with Bo Katan and the mention of Ahsoka Tano was so cool. Now I want to say this from my heart, from the bottom of my heart, but you guys won't get it. But I thought it was cool how Bryce House Howard directed the next this episode again. It was. It was so cool. After directing the awesome episode that was episode four. Yeah, it was so cool at the end. I, I love it, like watching these episodes when you don't know who's directed it, and then all of a sudden you see directed by and whoever it is like last time. Like, oh, that's the person is. Yeah, last time it was Peyton Reed who directed Ant Man, and the first episode was directed by Dave Filoni. Sorry, no, John, John Favreau. Favreau, which was cool. Which was actually pretty yeah. surprising. and then it was cool when we saw that this one was episode three was Bryce Dallas Howard again. She did an awesome job. Oh, she's yeah. She did a really cool job, and there's a cool thing. I just saw, I saw it on Twitter the other day, where she totally paid homage to her dad, Ron Howard. After directing Solo. No, he, well, oh. well, yeah, but, also he, but he directed a. Um, uh, Apollo, Apollo, um, oh, 11? Yeah, Apollo 11. Where, um, anyway, there's a scene when the, the Razor Quest is entering the atmosphere of the planet. And it's all trying, he's trying to land the plane and it's starting to burn up and everything. And she did like a scene for scene, um, shot remake from Apollo 11, which is really cool. Oh, I, 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 I saw that movie like two years ago, so sorry, but I don't remember. Wait, it's Apollo 11, one. Apollo 13. Why can't, why am I so screwed up right now with the movie title? 11? Anyway. I, I mean, I'm getting mixed up I'm mixed up. I can't. Because there's another one. I love that movie. I can't think if it's 11 or 13 right now. I'm so screwed up. Anyway. But yeah, that was so cool. So yeah, she did an awesome job directing it. So. I am still patiently waiting for Robert Rodriguez. Yeah, Robert, Robert, Robert Rodriguez has directed an episode this season. Um, I'm not sure who else. I don't know. I don't think Taika Waititi is, is directing one this year, but I'm not sure. Really? I, I could be wrong. You could maybe, be wrong, yeah, but we, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. I'm pretty sure that, oh, what's his name? Rick, um, oh, I can't that guy's name. Then another guy who directed two episodes in the first season. Is, I think he'll be back doing one. And I'm sure, I, I guarantee, guarantee Dave Filoni is going to direct the episode where Ahsoka's back. Oh, that, okay, that would be cool. Since he directed the, um, Clone Wars movie. Yeah, I'd be shocked. And he, he said so, I mean, he, Basically, like, George Lucas created the Ahsoka character, but Dave Filoni really brought her into, the into like, the character that she is and developed her with... And George Lucas. The, him, him and George Lucas. Yeah, Dave Filoni and George Lucas together. Yeah, I'm calling Dave Filoni the next generation George Lucas to be head yeah. So I'm, I'd be shocked if he didn't direct the episode with, with Ahsoka's in it, so... I just thought Sabine would look nice with the lightsaber because... Okay, I admit this from someone who thinks Sabine is the best Rebels character. Mm -hmm. uh, when she took the darksaber to her planet with her mo to show her mother, I totally thought she was going to be the lightsaber she was... The, what? The Jedi she was destined to be. No, she's not force sensitive, so she's not going to be a Jedi, right? It was cool seeing her actually fight with it, though. That was yeah, cool. but no, but the whole point was like the leader, the, the leader of Mandalore, the, as by, by, for as traditional, has the light, as the dark saber as a weapon, and so what Ezra and Kanan were doing was was trying to train her how to use the dark saber, not train her how to be a Jedi, but just train her in the ways of how to battle with the dark saber because the dark saber is a lightsaber, so. And I thought we were going to see Sabine in the episode, but we didn't. Of Mandalorian. I, I kind of thought we were going to see Sabine, too. I, I had a weird feeling that the, that the the girl watching the cloak was going to be Sabine, but I, I wasn't 100% sure. I was like 50-50, maybe. Um, 
I, th I, had a th I thought we were going to see Sabine somehow. We still might. I don't, I don't know. I mean, that could be like season three for all we know. Who knows? Okay, writing Broccoli Break, I want to see I want to see her do her, her special move on him. Yeah, but it did, remember, it did end up in Rebels. Yeah, it did. With Sabine and Ahsoka going off together to find Ezra, right? I know, and, and I want to learn how they... I want to know if Ezra's still alive. Yeah, so we so if we see Ahsoka in this season of Man The Mandalorian, we could see Sabine with her. She could, They could still be together. Right? So. They could they, they could still be on a mission no. together trying to find Ezra, so I gotta build my special moves! I have you now. Yes! Oh not fully. I think it's five maybe. Five is the max, I think. Yes, five. Okay, let's see. Let's see what she does. Oh it's the paint thing, ready? Kaboom! Oh, I think he's too far away to do it. Oh nice, you got him. Hello, hey. Rainbow Vader! <laughs> Rainbow Vader, that's hilarious. Okay, I would do one more, I wanna see if it finishes him off. He probably won't bite it, whatever. I love that move so much. It's so cool. What was that crazy move that we did, we did last time? And I, it was like. Oh, I can't remember now. I think it was this one. Was the air assault? I can't remember. Oh, let's try it. Yourself. Release your anger. This is gonna be a tough one to get time right. Yeah. Rats. Ah. No. I think do it away from him so you can get the rhythm down first. I think he's just gonna hit you and throw you off. Okay, I can't do it. I can't do it. I try from there. See if you can do it now. You're far away, farther away from him. I just can't get, I just can't get that oh, triangle the right. Timing right. So I'm just gonna go right. Uh, oh, if only I could just leave because now I'm gonna mess it up every time. Just finishes him off. I can't finish him off. What? Yeah, guys. So oh tell no. us. In that my uh -oh. help. <laughs> yeah. Get it? So tell us in the comments, guys, what you thought of the, the next two see uh, the episodes two and three of the Mandalorian. What you, what you thought of everything. What you thought of Bo Katan and Ahsoka Tano's name being mentioned. So I thought they were both really cool. I'm dying to see what happens next. Me too. And I'm curious to see, like, if we are actually, if we're actually going to see Boba Fett again in this season. I think we are. He's going to like be like the, the final episode or something, um, or if it's going to be more of like a season three thing, or if it's going to be a spinoff for Boba Fett, where they're going to have the, Boba Fett's going to have his own show. I kind of don't see that happening because I can't see them having two. <clears throat> excuse me. Ugh. I can't see Disney Plus or the Star Wars having two Mandalorian shows, like. One is Boba Fett and one is um, Din Jarek. Because I, I can't see your average fan I understanding so. the difference between the two, to be honest. So I want to try this out. Ready? Okay. Yoda versus Vader. Oh, Yoda's special moves are awesome. Especially when you have so many of them like that. Look how it took out! Whew. I think Yoda is probably the fastest moving Jedi ever. In this game, he's really quick, yeah. He's super fast. I'd like to see a Miss Piggy special, Miss Piggy special move. I'm just kidding. Miss Piggy special move. What are you talking about? I don't know. Okay. Just because Frank Oz played oh, Yoda. Oh, Frank Oz did the voice of and both. And Frank Oz did Miss Piggy. Okay, I get it. If, if you guys don't get it, it's a crap. I get it. I, think I was it, trying to just. It would either be funny. her like her big kung fu kick thing, or it'd be where she has like, you know, that little poodle poodle dog she has. Oh well, yeah. Maybe that little poodle poodle dog will come and like attack the person or something. Okay. Okay, I'm good. I want to build that move up, move, move up again. That was crazy. And if I place all the way up here, I'm going to end up on the Death Star again, which kind of sucks. Well, it sucks. If you go a certain height up up in the air, you just end up at the Death Star. Like that. So now I'm going to take a while to... Oh, never mind. I'm good. I'm good. 10, 15, yes. Okay, let's, yeah, let's see how much damage you can take off with 15 of those spe special moves. Yes! <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> just see how fast he moves! Oh, okay, I want to do one more. Can we do one just to finish him off? Sure. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. It's like seeing what you want to fight against Count Dooku in Attack of the Clones again. Yeah! When he's flipping all over the place and everything. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't end up there again. Let's see how much this fills up. Now time to face your One second, Vader. Un momento, please. 
15. Here we go. Prepare him. Later. Oh, come on. Another chokey. Oh, you're going to get it with him. Oh, oh so no, close. Just going to finish him it off. It was so close to getting him with that. Okay, finish him off the real way here. Lightsaber way. Oh, no. Did you see that? I know. I was like, Oh, oh, he's gone. You beat him. I was just going to let him duel him. I know. It's cool when it, when it gets so up close in that scene. Yeah. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed our little quick recap of The Mandalorian Season 2, Episodes 2 and 3, or Chapters. 11, 11 and 12. No, 10 and, 10 and 11. Oh, yeah. 10 and yeah, 11. I 10 forgot. 11. Yeah. So Chapters 10 and 11 of The Mandalorian. So tell us what you thought. Tell us in the comments what you thought of the episode. And maybe, I don't know, tell, tell us how you want us to do it. I mean, we love talking about the new Mandalorian episodes. So, like, do we want to do, like, a live stream? Or, like, after, like, every week after the show, we do a quick little live stream. And I want to talk to you guys. Live, maybe? If you want to see that, tell us in the comments. Or do you enjoy us doing this Disney Infinity Kobox fun where we talk about the episodes? Mm. I don't know. Tell, tell, tell us in the comments what, what you guys think. What, what you prefer. I think we go cool if we could take, take turns between Disney Infinity and live stream because then yeah. everyone gets the joy both of what they want. Yeah, we could do both too. That's true. So. so yeah. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Talk to you in the comments, guys, and see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> That's all, fans. folks. That's all.